Okay. And it follows a kid named Musa. Yeah. Who has ADHD. And it's uh -huh. really insightful for all ages, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm really curious to see what we can learn from a yeah. child's perspective on it. So the book is told from Musa's point of view. Okay. And he describes his ADHD. And he says that his thoughts are always jumping on trampolines. Wow. I, thought, I mm -hmm. love that imagery. Yeah. It's so uh -huh. vivid. It really captures yeah. that feeling yeah. of a racing mind. And he also talks about having a rocket inside him. Yeah. That makes it hard to sit still. Mm-hmm. Especially when he has to wait for something. Yeah, we've all been there as yeah. kids. It's like, just go, go, go already. Um, and the book, yeah. it sort of lists all of these challenges into a list called the Brain Trick Trouble List. Oh, I like that. Brain Trick Trouble List. And some of the things that are on this list mm -hmm. are trouble listening. Yeah. Restlessness. Yeah. Trouble waiting. Mm -hmm. Forgetfulness. Yeah. Impulsivity. Mm -hmm. Noise sensitivity, organizational challenges, yeah. and being on an emotional roller coaster. Wow. It's like, damn, they really packed it all yeah. in there. It's, well, it's like, all I like mean, a comprehensive. He's the whole thing. Yeah. It really is. And so there are all of these examples in the book of yeah. Luce's experiences with mm -hmm. these challenges. He had to. Go for it. Yes. Um, but here's this. The thing about this book is it doesn't just focus yeah. on the challenges. Right. It also shows that ADHD can be a superpower. I like that. Flipping the script. Yeah. <laughs> and Musa calls his brain awesome. Mm -hmm. And he calls himself fun to be around. Yeah. And he really embraces his unique way of thinking, even when others might find him annoying. It's like he's owning it. Yeah. He's taking ownership of his unique way of being. Yes, exactly. And it makes me think of... Dr. Sharon Celine, who Shay. specializes in ADHD, mm -hmm. she says that what we perceive as negative ADHD traits okay. can actually be strengths. Mm -hmm. So that constant motion of thoughts right. can fuel creativity yeah. and innovation. Like outside the box thinking. Problem solving. Yeah. I think it's important to reframe yeah. ADHD that way too. Yeah. Not just see it as deficit, mm -hmm. but also as a source of incredible potential. Yeah. I think that's a really crucial point because it helps us to appreciate the diversity of human brains and how yeah. different ways of thinking can actually be beneficial. Right. And there's a study by Dr. Kathleen Dadeau okay. that found that children with ADHD mm -hmm. often excel in fields that value Weird. out of the box thinking and problem solving. So like creative fields. Exactly. Than entrepreneurship. Yeah. So anything? they really are brimming with potential. Mm -hmm. And this book encourages parents, teachers, and anyone who works with children yeah. to tap into that potential. Your turret? Yes. And to create supportive environments where these kids can thrive mm -hmm. instead of just trying to make them fit in. Yeah, instead of trying to force them into a box that doesn't fit. Exactly. 